download my free legato course right now and learn to play fast in the fastest way possible. There is another thing uh, that we need to talk about. I hope you watched the previous video here. We're talking about how to get results, how to, how to uh, make sure that you can actually push to the next level, to the final level of those amazing guitar skills, because that is a possibility for every single individual. If you got two hands and 10 fingers, or at least, right, or something in that vicinity, then you can absolutely do it. It's a matter of engaging in the mechanics of the body. I don't know if you can get be, become the great next composer and create amazing art, but you can learn to do incredible things on this instrument. Have an, a technique that's just, because it's just bits and bytes, it's just patterns of movement. It, it's no magical ability. You can build it, but that's one specific thing you must adapt to or understand, and that is small repetitive loops. It is a, a prerequisite, a requirement of mastery. Why? Because just look at anything you master, anything you master. If you, if you, you know, talk about something complex, as complex as language, the sentences you say are pretty much the same over and over again, right? Since you were a little boy or girl, you've been looping the same sentences, the same words, putting them together over and over and over again. And you develop your language from the inside out, right? From a couple of words, then the, a, another word to it, and then another. And as you add another word, you circle the little loops you say, you say, I want more food, I don't want more food, what is that, what is that, what is that, lamp floor, lamp floor, I want more, f I want lamp, I want light, you know, and then you, <laughs> like in a little child, it's a constant loop and you talk about the same things in your head, if not out loud, all day long. You know how to walk, right? <laughs> how did you learn that? By continuing the same freaking little loop <laughs> over and over again, right? It's the same little movement, the same, and you do that thousands and millions of times. And pretty soon, you also know how to run. And pretty soon, you can also kick a ball because you, you develop like that over and over and over again. Small patterns, loopable patterns of movement that just runs over and over again. You know how to brush your teeth? Same little repetitive movements. Just try and do it with the left hand, as I always say, and feel how awkward that feels. It's amazing how what kind of precision and ease you have with your right hand or vice versa if you're left-handed. But those are little, it's a very simple pattern of movement, right? There's very simple loops to it that you've been repeating over and over again until mastery. What does mastery mean? You can do it while thinking about other things. You can basically brush your teeth without having any thought of brushing your teeth, right? Because you can think about all kinds of stuff. You can even talk to somebody if you could, you know, with speaking with toothpaste in your mouth. So all the little things that we master in our lives are basically little habits, like opening a door also. You don't think about that. That's the loop you've been, you know, in the same way over and over and over again. That, that used to be a challenge, you know? It actually did. Everything used to be a challenge until you produce the same loop over and over again. That secret, that principle is the principle of mastery. You cannot master anything if you can't convert it into little loops. You want to shoot directly and people say, oh, but little loops, Klaus, I need, to, I need to learn a ton of chords and a ton of techniques and a ton of things. How can I just do little loops all the time? Because I need to practice all of this. I don't want to focus on one little loop, but, but that's the secret. If you can learn to walk, you can learn to run, right? That you, you build on your loop. So if, for instance, I used to do this. I used to play triplets on one string over and over again. That was my, uh, you know, first I practiced all kinds of six strings patterns. Up and down, three note per string shapes and all kinds of, and I didn't progress much until I said, okay, let's, let's hone this in to the first skill of alternate picking. And that, uh, you know, that was for me, triplets on one string, up and down, accents every third note. And I looped that over and over again, incessantly over months. Once I'd done that, how easy do you think it is to, to, do, do, to do two triplets on each string, up or down? And then after that, do one triplet on each string. Right? It, it's just, it just follows naturally in anything. Anything is a progression like that. Growth is like that, layer upon layer. But we never engage in that natural, um, basic 
core developmental process because we, we, we just hit all over the place. How would you win a war? You know, the best way to win a war is to shoot the guy who started it, right? Instead of trying to, you know, soldiers fighting against each other, shoot the freaking leaders, right? Shoot the top of the pop, the generals, all the leading, and then the rest is just going to go, hey, what are we going to do now, right? You know, <laughs> focus on where the problem is. Focus on the few that matters most instead of the most that matters the least, right? It's a, it's a guiding principle for life, even, right? If you want to start eating healthfully, what's the one thing that you could cut out of your diet that would mean the most to your health than any other single thing, right? That's the way to think, always, because then you can get the most results the fastest way possible, getting results faster with less effort. So you want to produce these little small loops, two chords over and over again. Sequences. Yes, you know. Until you are sick of it. And then you do it some more, and then you do it some more, then you do a little bit of another thing, and then you go back to it. Right? Until it's the easiest thing in the world. That's the way to build anything in any endeavor, in any area of life. That's the way to progress. Simply, it is. How do you learn to become really good at football or basketball or anything else? Put the ball in the same place on the freaking playing field every freaking time and shoot for the same area in the goal a million times. If you can do that one kick and hit the triangle up in the corner of the goal there, with the same football over and over and over again until it follows this natural as boom, you just do it every time. You know, then everything becomes easier. Have a little loop, repeat it over and over again. And I can't say this enough. I, don't, I mean business here. Mastery isn't possible without that kind of behavior. Oh, but well on these uh, higher learning, you know, and my teacher says and everything, you know, but then look at every obsessed master in the making. That's what happens. Whether we know about it or not, that's what happened because we could become so focused on just one thing and just making it real, making it because we want to get to that point where it's just awesome, where it's fantastic instead of just, well, now I can, I can do it, right? You don't need to be able to do it. You need to be able to do it without even thinking about it. That, that's where music happens and you can start really focusing on the, the musical part of it, right? So little loops. Again, one long sales talk for one little point. Create little loops, no matter what it is that you learn. Even if you learn a long solo, focus on the first part, loop it, so you don't have to stop every time you, you know, so you can go from the last note to the first and go over and over and over again incessantly. Now, this little principle is nothing without the next principle that we're going to talk about in the next video. But before you go on to the next video, which is out tomorrow or now, if you're watching this in the past or in the future, <laughs> that's how it is, then um, go click and download our free product below here and go check out our new program by the link just below. Um, if you are lucky enough to, to see it while it's actually there. Um, but don't forget to tune in for the next video. It's important. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.